What's up guys? So this video here is for my subscribers who have uh, subscribed to this channel uh, for the t-shirt stuff because I have a few t-shirt making videos and I do have subscribers that have gotten on and watched my review of uh, this machine here and just wanted to show you guys something that you guys might be interested in. Yes, I, I'm still making t-shirts. I love doing this. Uh, I love making stuff, and I think that's why I couldn't just keep my channel to nothing but uh, drones. I had to, I had to do other stuff too. <laughs> so it's just kind of one of those things. T-shirts, drones, and 3D prints is basically uh, what I do on this channel, and I will make you guys a video on how I make my screens. I know I said that a while back, and I started to. But it's kind of hard to do when the emulsion, I don't have uh, studio lights uh, that won't burn the emulsion immediately. So that's why I haven't made one yet because basically I'll just have to waste the screen to show you guys. I've made it, I've made the video like three or four times now and each time it's just been too dark. So I gotta make a couple shirts today. I'm actually not gonna be using the machine because the screen that I'm using is a screen that doesn't really go in the machine well. And the reason being is I made it super big because I this is right here is a, uh, let's see if I can find the tag. This right here is a 3X. And my 3X design, the, the designs that I have, the one that looks the best is uh, this design here because it's super huge so they get more coverage it just looks better on a 3x t-shirt and this one it, it does good on the machine it'll still work but it does better off the machine and that's because it's so big that at the very front here uh, there's this lip on the machine part that kind of keeps it the off contact up too high and it, it gets on there and everything, but it's, it's thicker up here and thinner down there. And it might just be my eye that I can see it because I haven't had any complaints. I've made most of the t-shirts on the machine, but I did it off the machine and I, and I really liked it. So it's the only one that I did old school like this. Uh, I've got it all lined up. 3X, best thing to do is, this is the collar right here. Put your thumb on the little collar part, there's like a the collar that goes around here. Put your thumb on that and your hand like this. And then the top of your design goes down at the bottom of your hand. So another thing too is this screen's a little off. It, it, the design went in kind of crooked. And so I've, I've got to kind of make this at, a, at an angle. And you can set it in there at an angle. But it takes so much longer to do. Anyways, what we're going to be doing today is using multiple colors to make this t-shirt. And these things sell like hotcakes. You can do one color all you want, but every time I do a show and I have multiple colors, it sells like crazy. Like crazy. It's insane. People want multiple colors. They love it. This one's not open yet. And one of the best multiple colored t-shirts to make is a red, white, and blue. People love American memorabilia t-shirts. All right, you see the design here. And then what I like to do is white is super thick. Butter knife will do just fine. This is a double design screen, and you can make a design this big, but that's half the other reason why I do this this way. It's because it's such a big, it's got two on it, and I had to put them way down uh, one design way down at the bottom, and the other design way down at the other side, and so. I don't know, it just makes it 
uh, really hard to get on there just right. I mean, it takes forever to to get this lined up on the machine right. My other ones, I have I have them all marked to line them up right, and it seems like this one just doesn't. It's not near as easy as those. Now, these other ones should pour out the the reds a little thinner. It pours a lot easier. I've only used the blue once, so I'm not 100 sure. Oh yeah, I think this one is the same way as the red. So quite a bit. Now you can go straight down and straight back up, and I'll, it'll be like a French flag type thing, you know, straight down and straight back up. But I've heard from people, I, you know, when you do your first shirt, it's perfect like that. But then as you go on making more shirts with the same one, as you can tell, I put quite a bit on here. So it's going to be more than one shirt. It starts to mix up a little bit more. And it gets kind of like a tie-dyed effect in it. The three colors don't mix up enough to make like a pink and make like a baby blue. But it kind of just swirls into each other, uh, which is a really cool effect throughout the whole thing. And so what you can do is just kind of on this side... Just kind of do this, wipe off the end here, and now come at this side a little bit, pull some of that white into there. All right, now we're going to, I'm going to take this and this is a bigger one. Usually you can just go down and up, but actually I think I have a bigger squeegee, a little rag on hand. I'm gonna get this one side first. Go straight down, do it again, until the whole thing's covered. One more time to cover it just a little bit more. Now I'm going to wipe off the end of this because it's not big enough. I have a bigger one than I usually do with this one. But I don't want to mix that blue into the other side yet. And now, come to this side. Do it again. There we go. And you can see how cool that looks. See that? Now, Push down on the end, pull it straight through. Now while I'm down here, I'm going to go ahead and go one more pass. You really want to get that, that marble look to it. And you have a really cool red, white, and blue t-shirt. It's one of my better ones. It looks really good. Looks really good on black. 
spray. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do, these become one of a kind t-shirts. What I'm going to do with this next one, I'm going to do this one even different. Because I'm not going to wipe off the thing. I'm going to just let it all swirl together. And it's still going to maintain uh, mostly blue on one side, uh, mostly red on the other, stuff like that. This one you got to get a little bit better because I got to get it just right because it'll have ink on the other underneath of it. Okay. This one I'm just going to kind of. Just run it all over the place. Doesn't even matter. I'm not wiping off my thing. It's kind of get it covered. And now. Down here, All right. cover it. And typically, I don't do this because I have a big enough thing. But if I want to get real crazy with it, you know, you see how it doesn't really mix together there at the end. I mean, there's a little bit of pink. A little bit of baby blues, but for the most part, it's not like it's mixed together. It's more of like a like a marble look to it. I really like that. So, anyways, I'm gonna lift that off. This should look really good on the gray. There we go. A little bit more white in it, so it lightened it up a ton. My name is uh, Bryson Michael RC. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Here's the T-shirt here. Let me zoom in on this a little bit so you guys can get a better view of it. There we go. Nice little cool trick that you can do. Here's the one that's. Uh, just the red, white, and blue. So these, this is my large shirt print thing. You can see, see it on me. Here's my neck. Here's my knees. <laughs> it's a pretty big shirt. But uh, these are actually get, being given away to uh, one of our fans that requested uh, a t-shirt and we didn't have it in the right size. And so, when we don't have it in the right size at a show, I tell them, you know, give me your add us on Facebook, shoot me a message, and I'll give you, I'll just send you one. You don't have to pay for it, I'll just send you one for free. And so, uh, she's getting both of these. Instead of just one t-shirt that she was going to buy, she's getting both of these for free. Anyways, I hope you guys liked that video. I haven't done a t-shirt video in a long time, so for you guys that have been uh, watching the t-shirt stuff, that, that review of the uh, t-shirt machine that I have has... Uh, quite a lot of views on it and so I'm, I, I've had questions on it. People ask me stuff about the t-shirts and, and leave comments on the t-shirt videos and stuff and I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to making any t-shirts. It's kind of one of those things when I, I haven't played a lot of shows here recently. When I play shows I make shirts and if I'm not doing it then I'm not making a video on it. So we're going to be playing a show next weekend so I'll be making a whole new slew of shirts including this design here and I've, I'm going to be doing a couple other designs some really cool stuff uh, that I've just kind of been playing around with and I want to show you guys that so I'll be making another t-shirt uh, like I said in the video I have to waste the screen to make you guys a screen to show you guys since I don't have studio lights I only have lights that will burn into the emulsion so um, I, I haven't really wanted to do that but I will do that soon because uh, there's a lot of people that have told me my vegetable oil thing is is genius. They'd never heard of it before. And it's like the extreme budget way to make t-shirts. Instead of having to go pay $12 for like six sheets of clear paper, you can 
pay like four dollars for a stack of uh, regular paper and put vegetable oil and turn it into clear clear paper so I mean I want to show you guys my whole process that I do with that because I think it's a hundred times different than everybody else and I'll show you guys in the Sun and underneath the light because in the Sun it takes way less time than in the light but uh and now that it's summer sun's out uh, perfect time to make screens so I'll be showing you guys that here soon uh, more 3d printing stuff here very soon probably not a whole lot of drone stuff coming up here soon so <laughs> We'll see you guys later. Y'all have a good one.